Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Whiteville, North Carolina. And I'm checking out a 2015 Jeep Renegade at night. And uh, this one, I've got all the lights turned on. And uh, here's the, the front here. And you can see it has the round headlights. It's got the side marker and also have the fog lights turned on. So you can see what they look like here in the front. You got a side marker there. Now let's take a look at the back. There's the back there. You see it's got the, the signature Renegade X there, here in the back tail lights. Let's see what the turn signals look like. Here in the front. Pretty nothing really special there, but let's look at the back. Okay, so the whole thing flashes very bright too. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's open up the hatch here. All right. So here in the back, everything's black, um, so it's kind of hard to see. But let me put my hand here. Um, so there is some illumination from the side lights here. There's two lights, one on each side. Um, there's also a center dome light there. So. Uh, Let me just turn it on night night mode so you can kind of see in the dark here um, is what it's supposed to look like. It's really hard to see at nighttime uh, with the with everything all solid black. Now, if there's stuff laying here, you would be able to see the stuff here because it's reflecting. Look at my hand here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the night shot off. All right, so let's go ahead look here. In the back seat, you do have a illuminated uh, power window button there. No other illumination on the door that I can tell. I'll give you some context here, what I'm looking at. And here's the seats. Um, basically, the dome light is the only thing, any kind of light, is the only light that you see in the back here, in the back seat. Which it's, uh, with the naked eye, it's, let's see if I can turn this up at all. Turn up the, the brightness. I don't know if you can tell. It looks all black on the viewfinder. But uh, once again, let me give you some context here. What I'm looking at. That's the seat there. Now, um, it does have pretty good, decent amount of light to the, just looking at it. Um, I'm hoping it picks up on the, the camera here. But, um, it's just one source of light. So looking here um, on the inside of the door, we do have a little bit of ambient light uh, behind the handle here. And we've got your uh, door lock control, door locks and all the different controls here on the door are backlit, which is really easy to find and see. You've got a light that's coming down here into that bottle holder, so you can kind of see there. Um, you know, you've got the dome light and stuff in here. So let me go ahead and hop in. Alright. Now. So now, sitting behind the wheel, you can see the steering wheel buttons are all backlit. There's the gauges. I have everything like wide blasted open with the uh, the dimmer. I can I can still like dim that down, but just for I guess I'll dim it down to more of a normal level. And there's your dimmer switches. Let me give you some context. 
here's the dimmer switches here and uh, the, the headlight controls and stuff so this one here uh, dims down the lights this one's more for the ambient light and the ambient light is what's in the doors it's also the cup holders here Let me show you. So you can scroll that up and down and get that brighter or, or, uh, or not Here's your radio. The knobs are backlit. These are all backlit. Very nicely looked. I mean, it looks really nice. There's your shifter. Um, let me give you some contacts. I know it's kind of dark. But right here is where I'm aiming at. You can see it's got that, uh, the backlit everything there. And here's down here where the parking brake is and the cup holders. And you can see that looks pretty good. Now for the center console, um, I'm going to lift it up. It does have a U illuminated USB, and um, but other than that, it's pitch dark. You can see it's kind of dark in there. But, uh, but there's that. And let's see here. Glove compartment. It's got a nice big bright light in there. Um, it's kind of a bunch of junk in there, a bunch of paperwork and everything in there, but it does have a decent light. And these uh, tap lights, basically, you can turn those on and off here. So if you need a quick light. Now one thing is, it does have this real soft ambient light here that comes down. And it's kind of, there, there's a lot of lights here at the dealership that's kind of shining in, that's kind of overpowering this. But in a really dark situation, uh, that little ambient light should give you some really super soft light uh, down in this area here. Um, so you can see... Um, you know a little bit of light here just to kind of kind of help you out with navigating your hands and everything around in the vehicle um, while you're sitting here all right um, I think that's about it on this particular vehicle if you have any questions um, about you know anything in, in the video if there's anything that uh, is not clear uh, please give me some feedback and um, you know of course you know questions and comments are always um, encouraged. Uh, so, all right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.